First of all, please refrain from the innuendo jokes. I understand it sounds funny. And let's discuss why 5-inch just feels much better to fly than 3-inch or smaller or 4-inch even. Why, why is it that 5-inch is kind of the minimum number that just feels good in the air? And what I mean by feel good is that it feels really in control. You feel like you're really connected to the quad. You have direct control of it. You, you, you have this enjoyment of having all of this this control sensation I keep saying the word control because the smaller stuff just doesn't feel quite as in control and locked in as people like to say I have some theories as to why but I'm honestly asking why why is it that I cannot build a three inch that can perform like a five inch it might have better power to weight ratio it might have much much lighter everything but it just doesn't perform like a five inch so my theories are things that I've already discussed in the past. First and foremost, disc loading theory. So the disc loading theory says that for a, a three inch to perform similarly to a five inch, it needs to weigh about, to a 250 gram five inch, which is a very good performing five inch, it needs to weigh about 90 grams dry weight. Now that's kind of impossible to do because this one that I have here, uh, I don't remember how much it weighs. I think it weighs 100, 130 30 grams, 130 grams, right. About 130 grams dry weight on this one. So it's about a 240 gram all up weight and 130 grams is not 90 grams. So I'm not sure. Even if it did weigh 90 grams, I'm not convinced that it would perform similar to a five inch or I would like it as much as a five inch. Now, when you fly the five inch, you feel this sensation of torque. You feel like, you know, you touch the gas and you have this burst of power and it just stops from falling or it's just able to pick up and go and move Similarly, when you're in a free fall and you're, or you're dropping, the, the quad just is locked in its attitude, which you can also get with three inches smaller, but it just, get, for some reason, you have this sensation that you're just in control at all times when you have a well-tuned five inch. This three inch, I have tuned it very well, and it just still doesn't give me that sensation, it doesn't give me that feel. So this loading is just, is, is one metric that you use. Thrust to weight is another metric that you can use, and I don't know any other metrics, but I'm basically going to tell you that the, just the prop size and the inertial momentum of the prop is another thing that I'm thinking about. So a 5-inch prop spinning has, is going to have a higher inertial momentum than a 3-inch or smaller prop spinning. So I feel like the gyroscopic effect of a smaller blade is so much less that you lose that feeling of, of being solid in the air. And the larger prop gives you more of that solid feeling. Similarly, when you go to 5.5 inch and 6 inch, you get a similar kind of solid feel effect. What you do lose with 5.5 inch and 6 inch is you lose a little bit of the top end and you lose a little bit of the responsiveness. Not a lot, just a tad, but you do, you, you do lose a little bit of the responsiveness. Something about 5 inch just works well in the physics of our Earth. So we've got two ideas here. First idea is thrust to weight, which doesn't really explain it. Another idea is disc loading, which also doesn't really explain it. So now let's look at like another, I don't even know what to call it, like an RPM theory. So for the five inch prop, you start getting thrust down low, like really quickly. And it starts becoming effective at a very low RPM. For a tiny three inch prop, you're not really getting any power until you get up in the RPM range. So you could technically put like Expo on your throttle to make the RPMs blast up faster, but um, that's kind of like a trick. It's not really the true performance of the quad. I'd rather it be true performance of the quad. So in order for the three inch to move, and all three of these are very, I mean, this little tiny Eoshin thing, even though it's just on 3S, it moves about as fast as both of these. It's, it's shockingly quick. It's, it's very surprisingly fast for something so tiny, but it doesn't give you that sensation of having having that power, that control down low and having that thrust. You still have to be up high on the throttle and you're kind of revving it constantly to go. It's, it's kind of like having a muscle car versus like a really, really revvy Honda, except that, like I said, the revvy Honda can have like Expo on the throttle like we do here, such that it doesn't really get moving until you get up to like 3000 RPM in the, thr in the, in the gas range, in the RPM range. So we kind of just stay at that high RPM range on something that flies on a quad, it's a little bit different because you have to drop RPM so that you can float farther, you can throw the quad, you don't want it to have like any movement in the air, so you, you have to go from minimum to 50% throttle just to move on the three inch. Whereas the five inch, you just, just give it a little like 
15, 20% gas in you, you are already moving. You're already floating through the air. So the combination of these three or four things, the thrust to weight, the disc loading, the inertial uh, effect of the prop size, and the RPM issue are all kind of grouped together and I think is the reason why the smaller things just cannot give you that same sensation. Six inch can be extremely, extremely smooth. And once you go past six inch, it's almost impossible to balance your props all the time such that you don't get jello in your, in your GoPro video. But six inch is very smooth, very good, but it, it would not be something I would fly every day. Still, after testing all these props, after working all these motors, doing all this stuff, I still prefer the five inch prop. And on top of that, I prefer the very lightweight five inch prop because I want that wispy, fast, control and really really high response rate just an idea i'm going to be moving away from the three inch stuff and moving away from the two inch stuff entirely i am working on something that's around the two inch three inch size but it's in kind of like the tiny whip category it's not in this category at all i now have all these things and all these spare things that i do not fly and do not have any interest in flying uh, i want to uh, kind of think of a way to do a giveaway i want to do like an acrobatic competition but i haven't fully decided how i want to do it um, I think it would be very interesting. I, I would kind of like uh, feature the top five videos on my channel and let you guys decide and choose. I think it would be very fun. Um, let me know ideas you have about that if you have any ideas. I have, I have a thought of how I want to do it, but I'm not totally sure yet. Uh, and yeah, don't forget to floss. And I hope you liked, I mean, not liked. I, I'm sorry I put out all these videos in one day. It's just, I just had to do them so I could get rid of all this stuff because then if I get rid of it, I don't have anything to make any content with. And I, I didn't want to make the content, but I just felt obligated to because I had it already and I had to like let the world know. So that's it. Don't forget the floss. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. One last thing. Look what I got here. The Racer Star 2306 2700 KV, which I believe is the best motor that Racer Star makes. Lo and behold, it is the same construction quality as the 2403 motor that I got and I said is not very good which people jump down my throat because they are such fanboys of Razor Star. Razor Star is great. I mean, they make some good things. This is their best motor. It's still made of cheese aluminum. It still has weak magnets. It still has a huge air gap. It still has low temperature windings. It's still, you know, the same quality. But I'm going to be testing it and see how it does because I'm pretty sure the performance is going to be on par with uh, any good motor. I would say it's, it's probably on par with the Hyperlite 2206 motor.